Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Leung. I will lead you in prayer today. We have been under the shelter in place for over three months, and the pandemic is still very severe around the world. Jesus taught us pray without ceasing. Do not get discouraged. Today we shall pray together a simple prayer on the pandemic again. Let's pray. Father, for all who have contracted coronavirus, we pray for care and healing. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their fear. For those who work in the hospitals, especially those working with COVID-19 patients, we pray for their safety, health, and courage. For our brothers and sisters around the world in the Christian community, we pray for shared unity and solidarity. For public officials and decision makers, we pray for wisdom and guidance. For cross pointers who have not been able to gather together since the middle of March, we pray that you prepare our hearts and spirits to wait upon the day of reopening. Help us make use of this time of waiting to grow in all areas of life. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing, grant hope, and also grant patience. Be with us, Lord, and we pray all this in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Hey everyone, I'll be leading the devotion today on Colossians chapter four. So a few years ago, I bought my favorite vegetable in a can, green beans, and I heated it up in the microwave. And I took a huge bite. And I almost spit it out of my mouth. And I looked at the can, and I realized that I had bought the green beans without salt, and I was used to eating it with salt, and so it was disgusting to me. In our passage today, Paul talks about uh, how we can share our faith, and he he talks about salt. So let's read in verses five and six: Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. And wow, do we have a lot of opportunities to be a light in this dark time in history. There are so many people that are searching for answers, people who are lost and broken and who are looking for hope. And we have that hope in Jesus. But Paul tells us, let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. A lot of times when we go and share the gospel with people, it can come across as, as I'm better than you and I'm right and you're wrong. And I know when I was in high school, that's actually a lot of times how I acted. I thought that because I was a Christian, I was better than other people. But really, we are all messed up and we are all in need of a savior. And we need to be willing to extend grace to people and, and, and to be gentle and kind in how we share the gospel. And it says, so that you may know how to answer everyone. And I believe that if we ask the Holy Spirit to, to help us, to guide us, to give us the words to say, then he can help us to speak truth to, to exactly what that person needs to hear. We can't share the gospel on our own. And so it's so important that we go into it with the eyes of Jesus and being willing to listen and learn and, and just share what we believe and share how Jesus has changed our life, and then let God do the changing in their lives. And I think many times we are, when we listen to people and we talk to people, the biggest communication problem is we do not listen to understand. We listen to reply. We need to be actually willing to listen to what people have to say and what they believe so that we can truly see from what, why they believe what they believe. And then that allows us to respond in a loving and gracious way in the same way that Jesus would. So I hope that you guys are finding opportunities to share the gospel and to be a light to those around you. If not, then I encourage you to pray and ask that God would bring people into your life who do not know Jesus. And may we 
show grace and season our words with salt so that people will be able to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ and be changed forever. Thank you for watching.